Good morning, guys. I hope you are doing well. I woke up this morning so happy and I'm so thankful to the Lord who has given me one more chance to live life today. Okay, so I'm not going to take it for granted. And I'm always thankful as a Christian. And yes, today I woke up uh, thinking, what am I going to talk about today? And I just found the perfect thing. You just hang in there. You guys, together, we will find out what it is all about. My hair actually looks a little messy. So, guys, um, I want you to pay attention to this, okay? So I walked out of my room, into the living room, all right? First thing I tried to do when I walked in here in my kitchen, I woke up to this. Watering running off, on. That's amazing. One of the things that we tend to forget when you live outside of Congo for, you know, for, for, for quite some time and then you come back, you still expect all the amenities, um, you know, to always be there. All right. Water, all these other things. And, uh, you know what I mean? But then uh, you realize that sometimes water goes out out here and it's a normal thing. I got to admit, I, I moved into this apartment on um, October 23rd, and I wasn't able, uh, I haven't seen anything like this happen before. So, yeah, I mean, today is just the first time. I'm, I'm so grateful with the neighborhood, but this is one of the things that, you know, you have to deal with, especially some of you, you know, wanting to move to Africa. If you're not originally from Africa, it's one of the things that you have to, to expect, you know what I mean? So that's why, you know, people always have uh, uh, tanks and all these different things to, you know, contain water. So just in case something like this happens, so you don't run out of water. All right. So, which means no shower for me this morning. But I actually have a bucket. I have a bucket in the uh, in the bathroom. Uh, full of water that I could use, but it's still early in the morning. I'm not really going anywhere at this time, so I'm just going to sit there and, you know, see in the living room, watch TV or a movie or something. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I thought maybe because um, if it's not working in the kitchen, maybe it could be working um, in a bathroom, right? So check this out. I'm here in the bathroom... Nothing is still coming out. <laughs> so guys, it's it's amazing. You know, it, it reminds me of it reminds me of time where when the water went out and then we all, you know, especially if you had to go out somewhere or you had a you had an appointment, you had a date or whatever, um we will go to the um to the Anjili River and we will take a shower out there. And then we'll go back and just do our things. But there's one thing about me. I have a huge phobia uh, uh, for water. I mean, I've seen one of my friends that I went to high school with. It wasn't even high school. It was in either middle school or preschool. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. All right. So I seen him, you know, <laughs> drown. Actually, I mean, it really happened so quick. And he passed away that way. So ever since that happened... So I got a really huge phobia for, you know, swimming or uh, things like that. Although I will learn how to swim in the future because I just think it's a nice thing to have under your belt. Just in case you get to, you know, you have a, a, a child and your child is running in front of you. You can just save both. You can save them instead of both of you dying because you can't swim. You know what I mean? So it's just one thing that I always keep in mind and I will learn how to do that. All right, guys. Well, that's just a little things that I wanted to share with you this morning. Um, 
let me know how often water goes out in your, in an area in which you stay in. But in mine, I've moved in here, like I said, almost a month. And this is the only time that happens. But usually when it happens, it doesn't really, um, you know, stay like this for the entire day. Usually within a couple minutes or within a couple hours, you know, you should be back on. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching this short video. And while I, you know, think about what to work on, um, you guys can just, you know, let me know uh, what you want me to make the, the next video about. All right. So I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, stay safe and stay safe and healthy. Until next time, it's your boy Murph. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.